here outside on the weather patio and or the grilling office, taking advantage of the weather while it lasts with famous Dave, a vote for the best winner. Hey, what's going on there, Monica? Nothing. We're just cooking, making sure uh, we're going to talk about our arts, beats and eat stuff too that we have. Tell us all about that. Well, we, back by popular demand, of course, is going to be our hot mess barbecue Sundays. We're going to have our pork sliders, our burn ends, which is a crowd favorite. We're going to show you how we can make it too. Okay, we have a we have a close up over here on these oh, pork sliders, yeah. and this is in the cup right here. What is this called? That's our hot mess barbecue Sunday. So it's layers of beans, chopped pork, coleslaw, more chopped pork, and cornbread muffins. It's basically everything in a cup. Super portable, festival favorite. Okay, so you can walk around with it. Now yeah. that mac and cheese over there in yeah. that little mini dish, does that have corn in it? It does, corn and jalapenos. And that's actually new to the festival this year. It's a fan favorite in the restaurant, so we decided to bring it outside and give it to you guys. Speaking of outside, my man Scott is over here working the grill. Now, uh, burnt ends. We got a grill, uh, what is it, a grill pan? Yep, griddle. Gr Griddle. Okay, he's got the, yeah, he's got the griddle over there. Okay, so uh, as Scott is flipping and tripping and, and otherwise uh, savorizing these burnt ends, how did these come about as a men, uh, you know an item on your menu? Well, years ago they had these burnt ends, the ends pieces of the brisket, and they didn't know what to do with it. It was too burnt to be used in brisket sandwiches. So pitmasters decided, well, let's cook it up, let's dice it up, griddle it, caramelize it with some sauce. But there's only two ends to a brisket. So now what we do is we take a whole brisket, cut it in about three quarters to an inch pieces, throw it on the griddle, top it with some sauce, and we burn it and crisp it and, crisp it and sear it to perfection. All right, and then it ends up coming to your table looking like this right here on a little tray like that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to have our sweet and zesty sauce, one of Dave's secret sauces, um, served with the pickle and onions. It's delicious. Okay, what are we going to make here? Well... <laughs> I'm going to make a hot mess Sunday, which I talked about a little bit ago. All right. Well, while you're prepping for that, I'm going to bop over here and talk to Scott real quick. What is the advantage of uh, working on a griddle on a grill? Well, I mean, it lets you cook the smaller items. I put these burn ends on the grill. They're going to sink right through. All right. This way I can get these nice and caramelized, get the sauce in there, make that sweet, smoky flavor that the sauce gives you. And obviously you can see all the smoke coming off the grill still. It's going to add great taste to that meat. All right, thank you very much for the pro tip there because, you know, you can go to your grill store and get, pick up one of those griddles. Uh, I like making uh, sliders on the griddle and bacon on the griddle. Yeah, oh yeah. You can also do the, um, I know everyone wants to know how you can do pork, which is in our sliders, and we can actually do it at home if you don't have a smoker. Now, of course, we have a smoker mm -hmm. in our restaurants. But yeah, throw it in a slow cooker, a crock pot, um, take a nice shoulder butt of the pork, season it, Throw it in your slow cooker for about eight hours, and you can even put a marinade in it before you throw it in. So now I'm topping it with our rich and sassy barbecue sauce. It's rich and sassy. And then of course our cornbread muffin crumbles. <laughs> Suddenly I turned into Paul Lynn for two seconds. I don't know what, where that came from. Oh yeah. And this, like I said, this is what people like at the festival because they can carry it in one hand and enjoy the festival. Have a beer in one hand and a hot mess in the other. Where can we find you at Arts, Beats and Eats? Because I know we have the locations you want to tell us about. Oh yeah, so we're going to be in a big tent with our smoker and uh, our grills on 5th, right before 5th Street off Washington. So you're gonna, we're going to be with all the food people. Excellent. Well, thank you uh, so much for coming in today, Scott, and also Monica, you as well. Yeah, thank you. And now all the people that are like poking their heads around the corner in the newsroom get to come out and try some of this stuff. So it's going to wrap it up out here and we're going to go back inside. Good stuff. Good stuff. Local Four and the Red Cross are also working with Arts, Beats and Eats to help storm victims of Hurricane Harvey. When you go to the festival, you can drop off donations with each with the Red Cross at each entrance. You can also don donate right now to Local 4's Help for Houston cause. You'll find a link on the Help Me Hank page of clickondetroit.com, or you can call the Help for Houston phone bank later today from 4 to 6.30.